Welcome to Sparks of History, where Jewish history and world history meet. We are extremely pleased to have with us today noted lecturer and educator, Rabbi Ken Spiro. Rabbi Spiro is a senior lecturer and researcher at Asia Torah in Jerusalem. Additionally, Rabbi Spiro is a licensed tour guide from the Israel Ministry of Tourism. Rabbi Spiro graduated from Vassar College with a BA in Russian language and literature earned a master's degree in history from the Vermont College of Norwich University. And Rabbi Spiro has rabbinic ordination in Yeshiva Eishat Torah, as we mentioned, from Jerusalem. Rabbi Spiro has authored a number of books, including World Perfect, The Jewish Impact on Civilization, Crash Course, Crash Course in Jewish History, and why a tiny nation plays such a huge role in history. And today we will be discussing a fascinating and very relevant topic in Jewish history. We will be comparing Jews in Christian lands versus Jews in Muslim countries. Um, just to start off again, Rabbi Spiro, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. What period of time and in what location covers what is called the golden age of Jewish-Muslim relations? So generally speaking, it's the 8th to the 11th century, more or less, from the Muslim conquest of Spain in 711 till the mid-11th century, which actually covers a period that's called the Umayyad dynasty. The Umayyads originally were actually ruling out of Syria, the Umayyads are the first dynasty to rule over Jerusalem. The difference being is that the Abbasid dynasty takes over the Umayyad dynasty uh, in the, about 750 of the Common Era, not too long after they come to Jerusalem, which is 638. And uh, the remaining Umayyads basically flee to Spain. And you have that golden age of a very tolerant uh, Muslim dynasty in which non-Muslims, Jews, and Christians flourish in a very unusual relationship in uh, history. 